love you, Tony. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotions. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Hey, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Uh, uh, I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. So I still love you, Tony. You're in over your head, and you're up here. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well... Nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but- Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just, what? <sighs> I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to, to protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Ah, oh, this is total bullshit. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick.
This one will do. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. End of the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. It's not the winning, James. It's the taking part that counts. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing. No! Wow. That's it. Ah. Number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> you know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat? That makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, Dad, don't go.
Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, 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 man! I like that! What's problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Let's talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! OMG! They're coming! Go into that outlet! If you say so, Trace! We'll lose them down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Come on, let us go. Move, Papa. <laughs> Looks like this is the way out. Back up, you pricks! My dad's the one you want to kill! He's on the front of this thing! You're going to hit me, you psychos! Back off, assholes! Okay, he smashed my TV and he took me to the beach the beach with my skin So what you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you I just told him where you were, you know, he got that crazy look in his eyes You know like he gets sometimes and he just went I'm getting a cab coming with you. 
How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. I can't come to the phone right now. If you've been trusted with the premium rate emergency line, call it now. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. 
You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too, this kid. With, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, but it's not by choice. You know, I just, my life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. How does that make you feel? I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute. That's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This... I think... No, no, I know that... I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but... That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay.